I'm going to kind of do a rant today, I think. I'm disappointed in the president. I'm disappointed in, in a lot of things in this country anymore. Our president should have stood up to, when they started that red flag law, all he had to do was say, well, uh, it's unconstitutional and I don't think we should do it. But he didn't. He said he left it to the states to decide how to take care of that. In other words, he passed the buck. And he started that stuff about, well, due process, you know, uh, take the guns first, then due process. Well, that left a knife in the people's back. You got a guy in there just like he's as dumb as the people that are in Congress. He doesn't know the Constitution and he doesn't take the time to do it. He surrounds himself with idiots when he should have people like uh, Joanna Martin to lean on or Chris Ann Hall or uh, uh, what's his name, Michael Bolton over there on the Tenth Amendment Center. Someone like that, but no, he surrounds himself with idiots, and then we get <laughs> we we get the backlash from it. Well, that wasn't the only thing that pissed me off about the president. Another thing was, he always said his daughter what's her name uh, Ivanka or some damn thing like that. Oh, she's good with numbers. She'd be good for the internet. She should head the International Monetary Fund. Well, I'm sorry, that's the United Nations. American people are against the United Nations. They want them off of our soil. And he's going, oh, yeah, my daughter would be good for that job. No, you should not have said that. Another thing is this uh, COVID-19 hoax. He should, he should have said, well, you know, instead of putting it into the hands of the governors like he did with the gun laws, with the red flag law, well, you know, let the, the, the states decide, you know, what, what they want to do, you know. In other words, he's passing the buck, and he just should have said, well, like he, when he started in the beginning, he was against it. And they kept pestering him, pestering him, pestering him, and he caved in. You've got to have a strong backbone to be a president. Biden isn't one of them. And Trump, unless God intervenes here pretty soon, he's not one of them. Somebody needs to wake that fella up. People say, well, you know, how are you going to vote this year, Fuzzy? Well, I'm going to tell you ahead of time, and it'll piss people off, but even though I will stand behind this president, I would never stand behind Obama, but I'll stand behind this president, I won't vote for him. I don't like him. I don't like the way he's come across, and if it wasn't for that, I'd probably vote for him. But if when somebody doesn't stand up for the Constitution of the United States of America, and I mean wholeheartedly, 100%, I got no use for him. I've got no use for the Congress. I mean, if you look at Congress since 1934, they have passed unconstitutional firearm laws in this country. And they keep continuing to hold that over your head. And it should be all abolished. You better understand the Constitution, people. I don't care what kind of laws they pass. You cannot legislate a right away. You can't. It's impossible. The Constitution will tell you that. The Constitution will also tell you that Congress only has certain enumerated powers. Firearm laws <laughs> is not one of them. Number one, if you look at, the, you read this, your Second Amendment again about the infringement. That right there holds them accountable. They cannot infringe upon your rights. Now look back at the enumerated powers. There's no place in the Constitution that, that grants them that kind of power. Congress only has certain authorities and power, and firearm laws is not one of them. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's unconstitutional. Any law that goes against the Constitution is null and void, period. They don't have the authority or the power granted to them by the, by the Constitution. It's not in there. It's not in there. 
They can't use the welfare law uh, clause. They can't use the necessary and proper because necessary and proper only means the enumerated powers. And that, uh, uh, what do they call that? Interstate uh, commerce. They can't use that either because it was Congress, Cong Congress themselves that gave them the power of interstate commerce. It's not in the Constitution. There's no such thing as interstate commerce. Now, our, our, they, they took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. They're not doing their job. They can be dismissed. It's in the framework of the Constitution. They can be dismissed. It's, it's under the, the heading of good behavior. Good behavior means you've got to enforce the laws that are in the Constitution. You've got to abide by those rules. They're not doing it. They can be dismissed. Now, until people get together and read the Constitution and understand what it says, we're being held back by these invisible laws. It, uh, the, what do they call them? It's under, under the color of law. It is not law. It can't be law. It's, the Constitution says you can't. They cannot infringe upon your rights, period. And then you get these... Since nobody's doing anything, then people are throwing money at all these uh, gun lobbies. Oh, protect us, protect us, protect us. The problem is you should have put people in, in, into the Congress that understood the Constitution. How can they pass laws when they don't even know what the laws are? Think about that. Now, this crazy stuff that's going on in the United States of America right now is going to continue unless you stand up. That means getting off your ass and doing something about it. Don't, oh, I'm going to tell you right now, writing these people and funding these people is not the answer. Everybody's done it in the past, and what do you end up with? You get disappointed, disillusioned, and pissed off. Now, you want to do something? Get out there and protest. Go to D.C. and get those damn people out of office. Like I said, they can be dismissed for not uh, being on their good behavior by upholding their oath of office to protect everything in the Constitution, not just what they want to uh, use or protect. They're changing this country, they're changing the culture, and you're letting them. All, all, by Trump allowing the doggone governors and stuff to handle things, I mean, th these people will follow a hoax of, oh yeah, I'm protecting the people of the state. No, you're not. It's the flu. It's always been the flu. And somebody's got a chance to make big money. That's why Gates, Fauci, Bricks, all of them, they're all in this together. And you better wise up to it. You better wise up to the fact that you're, you're living under a tyranny. You're letting Congress do what the hell they want. And you're doing it. You're not... It's your, your, you are the keepers of the Constitution, not Congress, not the Senate, not the Supreme Court, not the President. You are. Like I said, nobody can legislate your rights away. And Congress does not have the authority vested in them from the Constitution and the enumerated powers. They don't have the, the authority or power to pass any firearm laws. They are unconstitutional. It's outside the scope of powers granted to them by Congress and, and, and in the Constitution. I'm sorry. But anyway, all right, I'm kind of, my rant's kind of over, but no, I'm not going to vote for Trump. I mean, you people can. I, like I said, I'll stand behind the president, but he better wise up real quick. He's going to lose this country on his watch. And we're, we could lose this country because it's been on our watch, too, and we've done nothing but sit there and bitch and complain and write letters and phone calls. That doesn't do it, people. Doesn't do it. They get coordinated attacks with these uh, Black Lives Matter. Why don't you people get somebody that can lead the way? Get off your ass, do something, or you're going to lose the country. And, and then your, your grandkids will say, well, Grandpa or, or Daddy, what? Why didn't you do something? Well, <laughs> laws scared people. They never understood what, what their rights were.
So therefore, they don't think they have any. Okay, that's enough rent for today. Thanks for watching.